Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss RTL design interview question that are commonly asked in NVIDIA interviews. So these question are mainly tests how well you understand performance, timing, pipelining and scalability which are extremely important in GPU and soft designs. So if you can explain these question confidently you are already well prepared for NVIDIA level interview. So let's begin. So what is pipelining and why is it critical at NVIDIA? Pipelining is a technique where we insert register in a long combinational logic path to break it into multiple smaller stages. At NVIDIA, designs run at very high clock frequencies, especially in GPU, AI accelerator and high speed interconnects. Without pipelining, the combinational delay become too large and we fail in timing. So by pipelining, we reduce the critical path delay, uh, increase achievable clock frequency, improve throughput, enable large scale design to meet timing. So pipelining is not optional at NVIDIA. It's mandatory for performance driven registers. So if you say pipelining is a key enabler for high frequency and scalable NVIDIA architecture, it creates a very strong impression. So now moving to question number two, throughput versus latency. Explain the difference. So latency is the number of clock cycle taken for a single data item to go from input to output. Throughput is how many data items the design can process per cycle. For example, a five stage pipeline may have five cycle of latency, right? So, but if you, but if it can accept new data every cycle, then the throughput is one output per cycle. At NVIDIA, throughput is usually more important than latency because GPU and accelerator process massive amount of parallel data. Latency matter in control paths, but for data paths, NVIDIA focuses on maximizing throughput. So here is an interview trick that NVIDIA optimizes throughput first while keeping latency within acceptable limits. Now moving to question number three, how do you decide pipeline depth? Pipeline depth depend on multiple factor. First, I analyze the critical path and target clock frequency. Then I consider area and power constraints because deeper pipeline means more register and higher clock power. I also check if the design is latency sensitive. If latency is critical, I try to keep the design shallow. So pipeline depth is always a trade-off between timing, power, area and latency. At NVIDIA, we aim for just enough pipelining to meet performance goal. Now question number four, what are the drawbacks of deep pipelining? Deep pipelining comes with several drawbacks. It increases latency, register count, clock power consumption, control logic complexity. It also makes debugging and verification more difficult. In some cases, excessive pipelining can actually reduce performance for latency sensitive operation. That's why NVIDIA prefer balanced pipelining, not blindly adding registers everywhere. So over pipelining is harmful as 
under pipelining right so moving to question number 5 what is fan out and why is it concern fan out refers to the number of loads driven by a single signal when fan out is high signal delay increases transition time becomes slow multiple timing path fail together in large nvidia design high fan out control signals can easily become global timing bottlenecks right so that's why fan out is a serious concern for both performance and timing closure <laughs> now moving to question number 6 so here it is how do you identify and fix high fan out issues i usually identify high fan out signals from synthesis and timing reports once identified i fix them by replicating registers adding pipeline stages localizing control logic avoiding global enables right so in rtl it is better to fix fan out structurally rather than relying only on synthesis tool so nvidia interviewers like candidates who think about fan out at rtl level itself now what is retiming here is a good question retiming is the process of moving register across combinational logic to balance timing path without changing the functionality it helps in reducing critical path delay improving timing slack it achieving higher clock frequency so retiming is very useful in a high frequency nvidia designs where a small timing improvement matter a lot so retiming improves timing without changing logical behavior so rtl versus synthesis retiming so here is the explanation for this thing rtl retiming is done manually by restructuring the code and placing register carefully synthesis retiming is done by tool automatically at nvidia rtl aware retiming is preferred because it gives better control over functionality right so it avoid unintended power or latency issues make the design more predictable clean rtl enables synthesis tool to perform safe retiming so how does pipelining impact power pipelining increases the number of register which increase clock power however it reduces combinational glitches and long transition if pipelining is done properly the overall power can actually improve at nvidia design are optimized for performance per watt so pipelining decision always consider power impact now next question is performance oriented rtl mindset at nvidia at nvidia rtl engineers are expected to think beyond writing correct code they must think in terms of performance timing scalability power efficiency every rtl decision should answer this question how does this affect frequency throughput and power that's performance first mindset is what nvidia look for in strong rtl engineers so before i conclude let me share a few important tips to crack nvidia rtl interviews always explain trade offs talk about performance impact use real design thinking not textbook answer be confident if you don't know everything think like a system architect not just a coder 
if you understand these concepts clearly you are definitely interview ready for nvidia so if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe for more advanced rtl interview preparation all the best for your nvidia interview and you have got this thank you